Hey, it's Dr. Centeno, and we're going to go over the problem of a cervical disc bulge slash herniation that seems to be growing over time and the surgical versus the functional spinal unit approach. Now, medicine loves to take complex problems and oversimplify them into a single component part of the problem. And a great example of this is the dreaded disc bulge or herniation. You know, it's all about the disc. It's got to be the disc. But despite that, the neck is made up of lots of different parts and pieces, the vertebra, the facet joints, the discs, the nerves, the ligaments, the muscles, the fascia, all of which work together to give you a healthy neck. So, We've got three MRIs here, and I'm pointing to a C5-6 disc that's getting worse over time. So we've got a 2021, a 2022, and a 2023 image here. And again, for a surgeon to look at this, it would be all about that disc. Now, what is a patient here when we start talking about this growing disc and the disc is getting bigger and bigger over time and it's almost like a tumor and it needs to come out. Well, but what about all of those other structures, right? We just said that all those structures work together uh, in order to give you a healthy neck. And the surgical view of that is pretty much they're just spare parts. And from a surgical perspective, we need to remove that disc bulge. We could do a discectomy, a discectomy and laminectomy. We can do an artificial disc replacement. We can do a discectomy and laminectomy, maybe throw in a fusion. So what would happen, however, if instead we used high dose PRP and imaging guidance to precisely inject the disc? around the nerve, the ligaments, the facet joints, the whole functional spinal unit and treated all of those things with precise guidance. Well, this is a comment from one of Dr. Pitts's patients. He had helped this patient many, many times. And even though this guy is very excited about his early uh, results here, uh, I like this sentence that he wrote. Last week, if I missed a scheduled gabapentin dose, my body would tell me, consume pills like a drug addict right now. Today it's 5 p.m. and I've simply forgotten to take any meds at all, all day. Now we've treated many of these large disc bulge patients who have never had their disc bulge removed and most of them never need surgery. So maybe we don't need to whack out that disc after all. Maybe the disc can stay. Thanks so much for watching today. Uh, if you like what you see, then share, like, follow, subscribe, and have a great day.